Hello, dear friends. My name is Dr. Igor Atabekov. I am a clinical oncologist practicing since 2010. Today we are talking about brain tumors, about astrocytomas, glioblastoma, and um, medicinal mushrooms that can improve the outcomes of those patients. Because it's quite a popular question in uh, comments in my, under my videos. So, let's get started. So we know that there are many primary brain tumors or neural system tumors like um, glio gliomas that are astrocytomas, glioblastoma multiforma, ependymomas uh, or meningiomas, medulloblastomas, etc. Also some tumors can metastasize into brain uh, but it's a separate topic. And uh, main treatment is surgery. Neurosurgeons will try to remove the tumor there is also radiotherapy and chemotherapy, uh, and there are some other methods like uh, electrical therapy, electrohyperthermia. But we know that uh, often, uh, especially in cases with glioblastoma, uh, their treatment efficacy is quite limited. That's why we're always searching for some alternative methods that can help to improve the treatment outcomes of those patients. For example, there are a few uh, small clinical trials uh, trying uh, the calorie restriction or ketogenic diet on those patients and they show some positive outcomes. And of course there is one of uh, the most uh, investigated uh, topics and trending topics uh, nowadays is uh, medicinal mushrooms. So uh, what can medicinal mushrooms provide in the case of brain tumors or in other cancers or tumors? Um, what is the potential benefit? There are a lot of uh, potential benefits here. Uh, first of all, they are anti-inflammatory, uh, immunomodulatory. We know that uh, all cancer patients have some problem with immunity that will be aggravated after they start any treatment like chemotherapy or radiation therapy. Or they can be malnourished and they have uh, deficiency in different nutrients needing, needed for a uh, normal immune system. Next, they are anti-allergic and uh, we can often see allergic reactions to the chemo drugs. Also, they can protect liver, heart, neural system, and kidneys that can be often affected by chemotherapy or radiation therapy. They can protect bone marrow, so uh, thrombocytes, uh, leukocytes, and uh, hemoglobin erythrocytes don't drop so dramatically during uh, the treatment. And some of them can have, uh, for example, give energy or have a pain-killing abilities. So, a lot of benefits. But let's now talk about the separate mushrooms. One of the most investigated uh, mushrooms in uh, neural tumors is uh, maitake, or lentinula edodus. This one you see here, beautiful mushroom. We know that it has a good uh, immunomodulatory abilities, also can directly affect tumor. Uh, it can protect from uh, bone marrow, from drop of uh, blood cells. It can inhibit cancer growth or uh, decrease its uh, growth. It can inhibit cancer growth or it can even lead to disappearance of tumor in uh, some rare cases. And it improves the quality of life in cancer patients. It has a synergistic effect, meaning it improves the effectiveness of chemotherapy. It decreases pain in patients with astrocytoma. It can decrease hair loss, vomiting, nausea, gut problems in patients with uh, brain tumors. We'll talk about it a little bit later in more details. Now, look, this is Lingi or Reishi. It could uh, inhibit the glioma growth and uh, improve the survival of rats with glioma. And it improved the uh, effectiveness of our immune cells against tumors. What is very important that uh, in brain tumors we often see a lot of citomegalovirus. It's type of herpes virus. Looks like this virus affects their neural cells and it causes uh, mutations there and um, finally their tumors. And Reishi really helps to keep uh, citomegalovirus under control. And this is very important as citomegalovirus as again is associated with uh, glioblastomas in adults or medulloblastomas in kids. Also, we know that a very potent antiviral effect has, uh, for example, Trometis versicolor. Another 
very important mushrooms uh, for mushroom uh, for cancer patients. It's also effective uh, against HIV, against human papilloma virus, against uh, uh, hepatitis virus, meaning uh, it can also um, control other viruses that are associated with uh, different tumors, tumor of cervical cancer or skin or uh, pharyngeal cancer or liver cancer. And this is Albatrellus ovinus. Uh, that can help with pain relief. Cordyceps militaris uh, contains cordycepine. This is the substance that has anti-tumor activity, kills tumor cells, uh, decreases their growth, uh, uh, development, uh, causes uh, self-killing of uh, the cancer cells, and inhibits glioblastoma uh, metastasis, and inhibits glioblastoma growth and development. So it has proved the effectiveness in uh, uh, different neural cancers. So it has some effectiveness in different uh, neural tumors. And these ones are betulin. Betulin is their famous um, substance that is often used as an alternative medicine. Uh, it's most, uh, it is mostly found in birch trees. And these are mushrooms uh, that love to per parasite, that love to grow on birch trees and drink the juices from it. And, of course, they are full of betulin. For example, this is chaga mushroom, Oenotus obliquus, and Phomitopsis betulina. They are very strong antioxidants and adaptogens, and they can help in brain tumors. This is Felinus linteus and Schizophilum commune, also effective against astrocytoma or glioblastoma in animals. There was an investigation on 470 patients with glioblastoma, they were taking different supplements for six weeks and uh, authors uh, came to the conclusion that vitamin D may be helpful, vitamin E uh, should not be taken because it can somewhat uh, decre decrease the survival of the patients. And uh, uh, medicinal mushrooms and omega-3 may be also helpful because it uh, decreases the mortality of these patients. These are mushrooms that show direct anti-tumor activity in astrocytoma. This is again shiitake, maitake and matsutake, ganoderma or reishi and agaricus brasi. These are common side effects of uh, chemotherapy uh, that patients get during a brain uh, tumor treatment. And uh, you know there are many gut problems like diarrhea, like constipation, uh, the nausea, vomiting, uh, fatigue. For example, we know that there Access between connection between brain and adrenal glands is disrupted. There is hormonal imbalance. That's why these patients get fatigue and also intoxication, of course. Uh, anemia, low platelets, uh, low uh, leukocytes, decreased immunity. They, these patients may get infections, allergies, dizziness, uh, shortness of breath. We know that uh, intake of soups with vegetables like asparagus, Mushrooms, beets, carrots, celery can help with uh, diarrhea and with constipation. Also, mushrooms may help with, again, uh, hemoglobin, with uh, platelets, with uh, white blood cells. Some may help with allergies, for example, reishi. Trametus uh, versicolor and reishi can help with uh, immunity to protect from infections. Reishi can help with uh, vomiting and nausea. There is a drug called cisplatin. It's very highly emetogenic, meaning it causes nausea and vomiting a lot. And if uh, the patient takes uh, reishi every day, it can help to decrease this uh, nausea. And there is a funny mushroom, ear mushroom. It has a lot of fiber and other substances that uh, show that it can help with constipation. This is a study on humans. Use of maitake in uh, cancer patients uh, helps with uh, Pain uh, elevation helps with the uh, chemotherapy side effects. You can see it helps here a lot. And you can see here uh, that uh, full tumor regression was seen in many breast cancer patients, lung cancer patients, liver cancer patients. And if it was taken together with chemotherapy, it really improved their response to this chemotherapy. So it increased its effectiveness. So, dear friends, medicinal mushrooms is not panacea. It's not something that treats everyone and treats all the cures all the cancer. 
No, but it's a good additive, um, adjunctive remedy for those patients, especially if official medicine says, oh, sorry, we cannot cure you totally, we can only uh, improve your quality of life, decrease your pain, we can only um, give you more time. So, of course, uh, this patient must search for some alternative methods. And, as for me, medicinal mushrooms is something that uh, should be considered. By the way, I have a lot of uh, other videos about alternative methods. Please watch the playlist. I will leave the link in, this, in the description below. Again, work with immunity is very important because chemotherapy works with the tumor. It tries to kill the tumor, but it doesn't work with immunity. Mm, actually, it does, but it works in a different way, in the opposite way. It decreases the immunity. And uh, we need to use something that will improve immunity in those patients. That's why, as for me, medicinal mushrooms is a good choice. Please do not refuse if uh, the oncologists uh, offer their surgery or other treatments because uh, the efficacy of these methods is proven. But as an additional remedy, please consider it. Always discuss with your medical professional if you can use it or not. But in general, mushrooms are very well tolerated. I wish you good luck. That's all for today. God bless you. Bye-bye.